grandkids and uh, daughters-in-law were uh, after us to get out of our home. It was getting just too big for my wife and I to handle. My daughter-in-law is in real estate, Rick's wife, Lisa. And uh, so she said one day, why don't we take a ride up to Ironbrook? And being very honest, I'd never heard of Ironbrook. And we had lunch uh, with Beth, and we came up here, and uh, we've been here for 15 months now. There's no shoveling, there's no mowing. Uh, you don't have to worry about the furnace, and uh, if the uh, electricity goes off, you don't have to worry about it because it's going to come back on. So we get up and we nap breakfast, and uh, this happens to be a very busy week. We usually do shopping on Tuesdays, so we're kept pretty busy. And uh, my wife gets involved in, in a number of things, and uh, we very much enjoy that the independent living and the independence of being able to come and go as we please. Oh, abs absolutely outstanding. Uh, I've, I've seen where they've gotten uh, the business award, uh, which I think was tremendous. Beth is a, just a great representative of uh, this organization and this uh, community of people. They're great supporters and they get involved and I think that's just absolutely marvelous for the city and for them. Don't forget your family. You never will. We never will. But you have another family here, and they're good people. They greet you in the corridor. They call you by your name, uh, because it is a very, very uh, fine place, and the staff is, is marvelous. And I, I thought that sort of, in a nutshell, really explained what it's all about. 